What is up guys? This is Michael from Mish Motorsports and I am here presenting the Audi R8 V10. It is a beautiful, beautiful rendition, 2018 model. Uh, it's actually based off of the platform of the Huracan, so we got a lot of information to show you and a lot of cool specs and features as Doug says, so uh, hope you guys enjoy. Now, you may remember from the first Audi R8, uh, it was the first car with LED headlamps in full. Uh, this car is definitely taking that up a couple steps and uh, Audi is very, very happy to talk about all of the refinements to the lighting equipment that they have made, including these new laser beams in the front, which unfortunately the United States market doesn't get to understand the full complexity and capability associated with it, including tracking when pedestrians are about to walk into the uh, road and putting stop signs in the middle of the road so that people can understand when they're about to get hit or when they should stop, uh, when it's okay to cross. It's, it's pretty amazing technology, but the American car market only gets it in 25 special rare examples because our regulations have not kept up to that point, unfortunately. The Audi Space Frame aluminum monocoque is actually on this vehicle. It was uh, developed for the R8 specifically, and it shares just under 50% of the same parts as the R8 GT3 LMS race car, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, there's a lot of technology from the Le Mans race car that Audi uh, created that generally feeds into this Audi R8 and then they put it on the road. So it's kind of like a race car for the road in some ways, but definitely, definitely more refined than something like a Pagani Zonda F or anything else that you would generally see in that category. It shares its automotive platform with the Lamborghini Huracan and comes in a 532 base horsepower or a 602 horsepower for the V10 Plus. There's also a limited run of rear wheel drive options for the R8 V10 RWS rear wheel system, I believe, uh, limited to 999 units. And those will actually be cheaper than the standard four wheel drive R8. So these have the anthracite rims on them. 20 inches, absolutely beautiful. I think they have 15 inch brakes on them, possibly 14 inches. I mean, there were wheels that big just a couple years ago. Absolutely beautiful and stunning. The interior features are rich with sensible Audi design quirks and as usual, the quality of material is outstanding. So the R8 is really, really stunning inside. Everything feels fantastic to touch. I mean, this interior is just so seamless and beautiful and simple, uh, all with the comfort and quality that you've come to expect from Audi, that's for sure. The most amazing thing about Audis, even though it's a little bit old of a feature, is still the Audi virtual cockpit. It's a 4K screen that connects to Audi Connect, which shows Google Maps. It has a Wi-Fi hotspot in your R8. A Wi-Fi hotspot in your R8. It's a brave new world. I absolutely love that you can see the map function, you can see Google Maps, you can see pretty much everything that you need to just from the center cockpit of the car that never takes your eyes off of the road besides to just really focus on the bare essentials. This is a fantastic design and I really, really love Audi for doing this. There's this beautiful Bang & Olufsen sound system. There's 13 different speakers, including a subwoofer that's actually very strategically placed in front of the front wheel uh, to actually use the wheel well and uh, some of its acoustic power to highlight the bass a little bit more. The notes become a lot more powerful and uh, you can do more with less wattage in your uh, speaker system, which ultimately saves weight. And that's more what this car is about than the speaker system, that's for sure. This one is fitted with the black optic package, which is uh, 20 inch wheels, high gloss, anthracite finish. Uh, just so you know, this car has a paint your own color option for $3,900 or a paint your own matte color option for $6,000. I guess when you're already spending $138,000 on a car, then it's probably not as big of a deal. Three Craigslist Miatas or matte out my R8. Hmm. It's just amazing the quality and finish of some of these buttons. I mean, these things are screens and they are just absolutely beautiful. They all work functionally just as you assume that they would. They waft cool air over every part of your body every time you need some AC. I absolutely love this completely edgeless mirror. Seems like it's just floating there. That is a really, really nice touch and beautiful attention to detail, as well as these lights, which you don't really press as much as just tap. And they notice that you're there. Hello. 
One issue with this entire car is the dreaded blank switch. Why? Why would you even put it there? I also like how there's these little beams of light that protrude ever so slightly from random points in the car. This one is from the door speaker, which I find interesting, but there's more. There's much, much more. When you open this thing, there's a light that reflects off of the inside from the driver position, so you can't actually see it. And then there's this one, which tucks its way under some of the other lights and some of the other button equipment. I'm just, I'm, I'm very confused what it's for, but I really, really like it at the same time. It adds a very, very elegant and nice feel to the vehicle. Everything on the inside is finished very, very nicely. They're all soft touch plastics or they are some really, really high quality leatherette pieces. I just think it's absolutely fantastic. There's a solid clunk when you open the door. You can tell here by the window sticker, it is not the most efficient car, but 18 miles per gallon is pretty damn good. I have the new Nissan Maxima and I drive it pretty aggressively and that gets about 20 to 21 miles per gallon. So which one would you rather have? Audi sensibility doesn't stop there though, because there's a lot of normal everyday features that you might use uh, in a normal car, but they're also in the R8. Here's a couple that I found. One of my favorite parts about this car is the wind deflector or the sun visor. And this little tiny mirror that you got right there, that's all the vanity that you need. That is all the vanity that Audi requires of you. Even though it's smaller than a baguette, I uh, really, really tend to like the aesthetic of it. And the windshield is pretty raked and steep, so I don't really think you would be able to notice it very much. There's a tether mount back here for a child seat as if you would be driving in your $140,000 hypercar with a child facing forward in the passenger seat. I don't think too many RA drivers are doing that, but thank you, Audi. Thank you for caring about my children. You see that? You see that? It's a coat hook. So one of my favorite parts about this car is actually its doors. They have an easy open function where they have normal joints, just like a normal door, but you can also pull them out to most places that you would want to put them <laughs> besides closed and they'll stay. There's also a button so you can raise and lower the back wing of the car along with a full diagnostic readout of your torque and the power that's actually being distributed when you rev the engine. And now we'll get to the part I know you've been waiting for, the exhaust note. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to take the rear-wheel drive R8 out for a test drive. I mean, there's only 999 of them. There's definitely the reliability that you've come to uh, know and love from Audi with it, and uh, I hope to see more innovations from them in the future. Their specialized headlight design is uh, not on the American versions, unfortunately, but it is on some of their other uh, ladder versions and the European versions. I really want to thank this amazing Audi dealership, Audi Exchange of Highland Park, one of the uh, by volume largest selling Audi dealers in the entire world. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time.